Right, hello again. Today we're going to tie a cormorant fly. Um, this is a great little still water pattern actually. Catches a lot of fish. Um, so let's just take this one out the vise. Now the hook is a long shank style size 10 black nickel coloured hook. Should look that in the vise. Thread is UTC Ultra and it's in black and it's in 140. I could really do with 70, but I've run out of 70. So we shall just use this. I'm going to start the thread just behind the eye, maybe half an eye length, and come down until I get to opposite the barb. And then we're going to add in a silver wire. Now, I'm just going to make sure we've got wax on the thread. And we're going to catch the silver wire in on my side. Whoops, I just caught the hook point there. And run the silver wire up, tying it in nicely. And then on the way back down, I'm going to tie in some UTC Ultra Mirage tinsel. I'm going to keep it on the spool, this tinsel. Um, there's less wastage and we're gonna keep the tinsel on the top as we run it back all the way take the thread back up and then just basically in touching well in overlapping turns we're gonna bring the tinsel up we're gonna bring it all the way up until we meet the thread And there we go, and then we're going to catch that off. Just catch it off. I normally do three times, but there's probably no need. There's a couple of turns there, and I normally leave a little tag and then just tidy up with that tag. Let's just do that a bit better. Just fold it on me a little bit. There we go. Right, let's come down to the hook eye. Make sure everything's all right. I've just caught the thread there, which is why those strands are there. We're going to come back a little. And then we're going to take the wire up. And the wire is not only being a nice rib, it also really protects the UTC Ultra. Um, uh, the UTC Mirage Tinsel, sorry. I seem to have lost uh, the ability to talk properly today. Um, which is quite surprising actually, because I'm really good at talking. <clears throat> Most of it's a load of rubbish, but anyway, now that's tied in, I'm just gonna come back again. I'm gonna put a little bit of dubbing in. Now this is uh, an SLF dubbing, and it's a very dark, it's almost black, but it's actually a really dark purple. Um, I'm just gonna, Build a, a little bit of dubbing at the back here. Not much, as you can see, there's there's not much there. Um, actually saying that, I'm just gonna put a tiny bit more on. I'm gonna come up. Mm, that's better, that's more like it. Right, now I'm gonna make sure I've got wax on my thread. I'm gonna tie in some goose bites. Just gonna get rid of some of these longer strands of this SLF, I don't, I don't need them for the minute. I just get in the way. So I'm just gonna sort them out a little bit. That's fine. We're gonna take some goose bite. This goose bite's just been dyed, sunburst. And it's a really, really bright color, really nice color. And these are just gonna be like little wing buds on the side. So I've torn them apart, if I can get them. I've torn them apart and they're in my hands and I'm just gonna make sure the tips are lined up which they are I'm gonna pop them going back almost a body length I mean we're gonna just come around with a couple of loose turns and have a look yeah that's fine I'm happy with that just make sure they're sitting exactly where you want there we go now I'm gonna tighten up and then I'm gonna come in 
with some lovely sharp scissors and get rid of the point, uh, the, the waste. I can do that. It, it's tricky. Sorry, my hands are in the way, but it's, I try and do things so you can see exactly what I'm doing, but it is difficult sometimes. Now I'm going to spin my thread anti-clockwise and I'm just going to tidy up this area here. There we go. That's lovely. And now I'm going to add another bit of varnish. Varnish? See what I mean? Another bit of dubbing. I should call this channel the fly tire who can't talk properly. Right. Anyway, a bit more dubbing. Not too much. I'm going to take some of that away, actually. I don't want a lot. There we go. And now, there we go. Happy with that. And now we're going to put our wing on. And our wing's really simple. It's literally just black marabou. So I'm going to take a pinch. You don't need a lot. You really, really don't. I'm just going to take a pinch off the stalk, off the feather, sorry. There we go. Trim those ends. Try and pull some of the fluff away. Same old, same old. You know the school with the marabou. And we're going to catch it. Whoops. That's where you've got to make sure you've got wax on the thread. We're going to catch it right on the end we're going to come in and place every turn where you want and then i tighten up on my way back down so on my way back up sorry so so when i was going down towards the eye my turns weren't that tight but then once i've caught it my turns going back up the way are very tight and then we just ignore that wing for a moment and we're going to varnish the fly we're going to varnish the thread um, we're going to come on there, we're going to come back up and we're just going to do four or five is plenty. Take the, uh, take the tool out, tighten up. Once it's nice and tight, we're going to trim and now we're going to come in and just tidy up. There's a bit of fluff going on here, isn't there? really know what that's all about but we get rid of that let's have a little bit of a tidy up with the scissors now wing length i like it just past the hook and there we have it that is the cormorant fly i mean the only thing i would do other than that is put some varnish right on the end of my dubbing needle oh got my arm in the way there sorry i i I knocked my super glue over on the table then, that's why I did that. Um, and we'll just come round and we'll do probably a couple of coats of varnish on this. Just come round with the needle. You can place the varnish where you want it. It's easier with the needle sometimes. And then once, once that varnish is dry, we'll come in and we'll probably do another couple of coats of varnish. So you've got a nice, solid, shiny head. And there it is. That is the Cormoran. Um, it's a great little midge pattern. Um, sorry about my uh, failing to speak English. Um, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate you watching the videos. Um, and... Uh, and if you are out fishing this weekend, then um, good luck. I've got a feeling it's going to be a windy one because the wind outside now is horrendous. But um, hopefully it will calm down. I'm actually teaching tomorrow, so hopefully it will calm down. But anyway, please like and subscribe. Um, give, this, give this fly a go because it does catch a lot of fish. Um, and hit the thumbs up and the bell icon and then you'll always be notified of, you know, next time I do a video. Once again, thanks for watching.